Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Kat here. Today I'm going to be painting some really easy butterflies. I must have painted a hundred butterflies in the last day. So I thought I'd flip on the camera and show you my favorite way to do it. it might not be yours, hopefully it'll, it will be. You can start off with a drawing if you like. I'll leave a sketch at the end of the video. But for these, this sheet here, I'm gonna fill this sheet and then I'm going to do uh, one that I did, I did draw out a light sketch. This is going to be a single one and I will probably uh, use this for a card front or something in the future. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a nice brush that gets juicy. Now this doesn't look like a very big brush. I would say it's about a size three or four but it's really, it soaks up so much water and that's what you want for this first, the first step. So I have a different brush here and this brush, any brush will do. I'm going to just outline a butterfly. If you can't outline it without a drawing, as I said, I'll, I'll put a sketch in the, at the end of the video. So I'm just doing, I'm wetting parts of the paper in the shape of butterfly wings. So in case you can't see that, here is the, the sheen. Can you see the sheen of a butterfly wing? All right. And to protect, to protect the rest of the paper, just ignore that. I am going to poke my wet brush and splash, just like that. And then I'm going to take another brush, wet it, sop up some nice paints. So choose paints that you like to, to look at the colors of. Now look at that. It filled out almost all on its own. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so once you have most of your splashing done, you can add color where you want it more concentrate, okay, more concentrated. This is cotton paper. It is not a very great paper in my opinion. It is called Art and Fly, but it doesn't scrub or anything very well. So if you get color on it, you're gonna, it's gonna stay. So I'll do another one over here. I think I'm going to use ultramarine blue. So I'll put this one up here. And then we're going to come down here. So just try to make both sides look roughly the same. Doesn't have to be exact because when you splash that paint in, it's going to go where it wants to go anyway. So the first splash, I'm going to do ultramarine and I'm splashing all over. Whoops. I forgot to cover my other parts of my painting. If you want bigger splashes, you would use a bigger brush. Now this is called Bright Rose. The other color was Quin Magenta. Bright Rose is a little more uh, artificial looking, but it looks quite nice when you use it with ultramarine. The problem is, is it's fugitive. So it does, it's not very light fast, but for this kind of thing, for a card or whatever have you, it's perfect. So I'm just dropping in a little bit of that ultramarine blue, just letting the drops of paint that you put in do some of the work. And I think for this one too, I'm going to put some dripping because I quite like the look of that. bit more of this pink and when you mix these it makes a really nice purpley color and just put some water and it will go right where the water is see and you can do it from here too if you like something nice and loose oh you're getting a very bad glare there there we go I have to have a lot of light on today because 
it's raining outside and um, you're still getting a glare. It's raining outside, so I need all my lights on. So I'm just gonna let that go. Isn't that fun? With a little bit thicker paint while this is wet, I'm just gonna come in and put this there. Because you don't have to do two layers of this. If you like the way they look, the way they are, you leave them as such. This one, I'm not sure if it's wet enough. No. See, this is sort of in the middle of drawing. The green has a sheen and the pink does not. So later, I'll go in where the pink is and fix that up. So we'll do one more and then we'll do the other one. The, the one I drew out. Just imagine a body in the middle. Don't worry if your water touches because you're going to be painting in a body later. So I'm going to block. I think I'm going to block this side. So this is Scarlet. It's a fabulous color. Keep two jars of water if I forgot to tell you that. You'll need a nice clean one to rinse because the one you're uh, the one you're rinsing your brush in is going to go uh, quite quite purpley and browny once you add the the yellow and the red. See if I use a bigger brush for this, I'll get bigger dots. But if anybody's ever watched my channel, you know I usually get more on me and the camera than I do <laughs> on the paper. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to pop in some dark red here. If you want to put dark at the edge, you can do it while it, it's wet or you can do it when it's dry. It's, it's, the whole thing is really up to you. It's just, just about kind of loosening up and, and having fun. Now let's see, maybe we can get this to weep that away. And I'm going to put these aside now. I'm going to lay it flat and let it dry on its own. Okay, so this is the one I drew out. So that for this one, I'm going to wet where the, the um, The wings are the wings. That's a complicated word. <laughs> okay, just wetting the wings here. I'm going a little beyond the pencil line. And if you want to make it a little bit interesting, take a paper towel and roll up like a little pointed nub, nub and take out a couple of dry spots like that. And you're going to see what happens. So this side is a smidge drier right there. Okay, and I want some nice splashing going on here. So I'm going to use my bigger brush to do the splashing. And I'm using this kind of green, viridian green color. All over the paper. I have some some room on the top of this paper and on the bottom so it will be it'll be cut when I use it for a, a card. And this is Quinn Magenta. If you are doing this on a in a special room, make sure you cover a very large area beyond your painting because it will make a mess. Now, you can let it dry and paint on it later or you can do what I'm gonna do and that is to add some color right now. So more concentrated color, less water is what I mean because you have water there. So you need just a bit Whoops, let me put that over here. So you need just a little bit of water.
And you see where you put the dry, where you dried it off with the paper towel, it made some, oops, that's the wrong pink. Where you dried it off with the paper towel, it made some little polka dot marks. It's kind of, kind of fun. Come close to the body. Don't worry if you paint over the body. If you find some of these dots are too small, just add a bit of water into them and spread them out. You can add some like that. Just softening those lines. And putting a bit more of this bluey green. There. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so make sure this is completely dry. Before I paint in the body, I want to, I just want to make a distinction between these two um, wings, wings, wings. So this one comes up here, that one goes there. So we're just going to soften that line. I'm using the same, uh, this was, um, oh darn, what was it? I think this one was uh, Bright Rose. And right there. and soften that out. I don't want to add too, too much to this because I really like how it, how the colors turned out. Super easy butterflies, beautiful. You can do any kind of design you like. I'm going to use my black for the body and a bit of that green. Now I do have something drawn out here, but I'm going to have to change a little bit the way I did it. Just leave something in the middle. There we go. There. Two little eyeballs. Just a little bit of paint there for the antenna. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to wake up my iridescent paints. I have a cheap, an even smaller set than this from, this is from Michaels. And um, I kind of like this color and my smaller set doesn't have this color. It sort of matches this. So I'm going to add some water and, and stir it around. When I stir these around, I use an acrylic brush. It won't ruin your watercolor brush, but you do sort of stir kind of um, vigorously and uh, it's just easier. I'm going to show you here. It's just easier if you use a brush that's a little stiffer. That's the word. See how fast they get, they get activated. And I also wanted this one. And you can stir up, you can activate this whole pool of paint and it'll dry up just like it looked before you used it. I kind of like this color. I'm going to try it on a piece of paper on the side and see if it's what I want. It's kind of fun when you add these 
to your watercolors. Let's see if I like the... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Okay. So I think I'm going to come up the side here just very, very lightly. I think I'm going to use an even thinner brush. And I'll bring out a, a vein there and a vein there. Bring that out there. And went out that way. So just make some random, it's kind of like when you're doing a leaf. You can connect them if you want, or you can leave them just as straight lines. Hmm. Now, when you do the other side, try and <laughs> do it again. <laughs> If you can't do the same thing, don't worry. Now I'll do some on the bottom. One like that and one like that. I think if I do them one at a time, like one on each side, I'll remember a little bit better. I'm gonna get them all to connect from that first one. Hope you can see the nice sheen that's leaving. And maybe right there. There. Now if you want to add some polka dots or let's try that to see if see if we like it. Yeah, maybe I'll add another one there, another one there. And this is how we get carried away, do da. Do da. <laughs> okay, I'm going crazy here. I'm a little nutty. Now, just to highlight the body, I'm going to add a couple of dots right in the center and a couple for the eyes. That would be fun. Okay, I'm going to stop painting here. I like this. If I use this for a card, it's it's perfect. Um, I can always add a little bit more if in a day or two I come back to it and I see, oh, I'd like this, then I'll I'll just add it. So I hope this gives you some inspiration and you give these butterflies a try. If you want to show your work, consider uh, joining our Facebook group. And um, we have only a few members, but it you know, has to start somewhere. If you like the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Happy watercoloring. Bye bye.